Jeremy Ellis here, maker of rockseto.com. I'm on Cloud9, which is C9.io. Let's just sign up. Um, give yourself a great name. Um, uh, give yourself some stuff. Describe yourself. Not sure what's going on there. Um, of course, not a robot. Hopefully, I can prove I'm not a robot. Uh, that looks like food. No idea if that's food. Where's the third piece of food there? Okay, looks like I'm not a robot. So, creating our free account. We'll go for it. Let's see what it does with that. Okay, so, um, we need this URL from a GitHub. I'll put it in the lower part. Uh, copy that with the dot .git ending. And then we are going to go to our dashboard. It already makes a demo project, but this is what we're going to do is we are going to give it a, another good name, good name, and this is the important part. We are going to make sure we've clicked on the cus uh, custom template and paste that URL. It's called tensorflow-udacity-deep-learning.git at hpssj ellis. Create the workspace. Now, here it's taking that whole GitHub site, putting it on Cloud9 so that we can run what's on Cloud9. Now, hopefully, eventually, I can make a Docker of this, but at the moment, it's not. Uh, let's see what's going on. Okay, so what you're going to be doing is you're going to right-click on Setup. See, it says Setup right there. You're going to right-click and Run. And then go get a coffee or something because this is going to take a long time. Probably about 12 minutes. It's downloading a ton of files. If something screws up, well, it's screwed up. It's not loading one image. It is installing a ton of things. So, come back in a minute. So that was about 15 minutes to install. Uh, notice this thing is still running and you can stop it. This part here is really important. But right now, I just want to test that this thing worked. So any of the files that say Roxetta, you can right click, run, they'll open up a new terminal, and it runs the Python program. There you go. TensorFlow is working. Well, this part of it's working. So you can fly through um, any of these examples, find these Roxetta ones, right click, and run them. There's some good ones here. Some of them need the one before it, so be B3 here should run before the tensor board will actually activate, things like that. Um, I've grabbed some examples from other sites. And once again, any Roxetta file, you can run. Now that's all done on another uh, video. What this one's more about is the um, these things, the IPython notebook files. And that's interesting, I got a little mistake there. So if we go back to uh, this running, the setup that's running, this is really important right down there because you need to probably have to click on the page to get the, the full block there. You see if I click somewhere else, it goes unfull. Well, I'm not on that terminal. So first you click, then you need to click here, then open. Open in Preview opens it up in this window, but it's way better to get it opened up in its own window. So here we go. Here's Jupyter Notebook running. Uh, that's the reason I did all this, is it's hard to set up sometimes on win Windows. I tried getting the Docker going on Linux, and that's a bit of a pain. Anyway, all of these things, um, let's go into a Roxetta example. Let's just run the Hello. Basically, you click on it. And it gives you, there's the Python command, there's the file. So I'm just going to click. For once in a while, you have to do this twice. Let's see if it actually ran this time. Um, notice this went dark when it was running. There's the Hello42. Now what's kind of cool about this, if I hit Run again, it shows me this file. But be really careful. This is an interactive file. Any changes I make here will change on the original one. You could always go back to the GitHub site at that URL and grab the original file if you screwed it up or just install the whole thing again. Anyway, so there's the file. I can make some changes. I can come back here and run it again. Notice that thing is black when it's running. Uh, that's about it. 
can't guarantee that all these work. I just got it going today. Um, you can click on any of these things and you know even the tensor board uh, let's do the running example first let's get that running I don't think that one ran so sometimes you just maybe I do it too quick see it's now black so it looks like it's running there we go it's extracting a bunch of files if you do overload your your free cloud 9 account you're welcome to pay the five bucks um, a month now here's the interesting one tensor board I'm gonna run this that grabs once again that, oh yeah it's still running uh, let's try it again there that grabs my uh, window to log in I'm gonna run the tensor board one and let's see how this goes it's still running there we go now it says that I've created this one that's the one you click on to go to your tensor board after this I'd like to just show some Udacity things um, as I said uh, this is a big file so there's our there's our graph uh, there's the cool tensor board kind of thing you can click on every single thing here uh, it's really nice let's go back to Udacity as I said you can go into that and there whole bunch of examples I know nothing about TensorFlow I'm just trying to get these things set up don't ask me any questions about TensorFlow no idea what's going on there I'm just trying to get these things easier set up so here's the Udacity um, course basically once again you can run these things sometimes they don't run the first time I'm not really sure what's going on uh, let's just click through here go down you're always looking for some information here it seemed to have not liked that one I'm actually I may have to go back to the drawing board here let's see what goes on oh it's still running on the first one that one looked like it worked let's draw the next one see if we got some errors extracting the data set you see sometimes you just have to click these a couple of times um, this is actually it's extracting a bunch I'm just showing you that the thing's working Anyway, good luck with TensorFlow. As I said, don't ask me questions about TensorFlow. There, it made that big file. Uh, it's like 200 gigs. So, um, yeah, good luck with this.